Hey everybody, long time no see. I have been getting some interesting emails lately. I thought I would show you from this guy. Oh, come back up. This guy, Kearney Thomas, senior pastor. Oh, message from the senior pastor himself. Um, and so let's uh, see what he's got to say and how much of a Peter Popoff he is. Josh, God has given me a word for you. Capitalizing word, of course, because it's very, not just any word. It's a very special, magical word. I discern that you have a great desire for God to bless you in some special areas of your life in 2017. No, I have no desire for that at all. Dear Josh, I have been sensing something in my spirit of what God has for you. Josh, God had me had me to tell you this word. Josh, God had me to tell you this word. That's not a good sentence. Don't fear, only believe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All things are possible. A good blessing is ready to unfold for you. Oh, a good blessing. Well, that changes everything. It, I'm a believer now. Don't judge the future by the past. Your happiness and success for tomorrow are being decided for you today. Through God's anointing, you are now in the position to turn your life completely around. That would be bad. My life is good right now. God has anointed me to speak prophetic words into your life today. And through this anointed email, <laughs> through this anointed email. How do you anoint an email? I don't know, but he found a way. God has revealed to me future events and blessings for your life. <clears throat> Let's see. God has God has made me aware of some pressures you have been facing. There have been a say there has been a satanic attack orchestrated to rob you of the joy of the Lord. But put your mind at ease today. God has bigger and better plans for your life. By faith I see these seven good things for you. Did he, did he plan for the satanic attack? Because it seems to me if that happened and it was beyond his plans, then how can I trust his plans to work? I see good news coming to you. Good news. That's very, um, very general. I see a new friendship unfolding in your life. Like new friends are going to solve my problems. I see some flowers. It could be a wedding or a funeral for someone you know. How would that be good? It could just mean a sign of affection from someone. Oh, so I'll just interpret that to mean whatever I'm desperate for it to mean. I see God healing a broken relationship. I see a certain amount of money coming. Yeah, as soon as I give you some money, right? I see God bringing the truth out about someone who has been lying about you. I see some kind of mistake you made in the past that you felt troubled about. But a peace is coming over you. Yeah. Complete nonsense. I must ask you seven questions. Follow these holy ghost instructions. Yeah. <clears throat> Say, Lord, you are sending me a prophetic answer to the seven questions your pastor, Kearney Thomas, asked me. Yeah, I, I think the Lord is a little bit too busy uh, telling Peter Popoff to fix all my problems. Touch your wallet or checkbook and all the bill your bills and say, Father, you meet all my needs and pay all my bills. Oh, if only. If only. Touch your forehead and say, I claim healing and divine health for my body. Again, if only. Hold your hand over your heart and say, I pledge allegiance. No. Jesus, every dream you have given me shall be fulfilled, and you take care of those who are jealous of me. <laughs> yeah, Josh, I, I see that you are living a terrible life and everything sucks, and some people are jealous of you. Okay. Answer the seven. Maybe they're jealous of me because I'm all that in a bag of chips, and they're not. Answer the seven questions so I can send you the prophetic word. Were there seven questions? Um, you must answer each one of them by clicking here. Yeah, I'll click there as soon as I want a uh, virus. If I don't hear from you, you will just destroy the word. We will just destroy the word because I don't want anyone else to see this but you. And you, of course. 
Hurry now! Give God your best. Answer these seven questions. No. To sow a seed over the phone, call 713-419-8552. Or send some uh, prank calls. Anyway, yeah. There is Kearney Thomas. An, um, the, the email version of Peter Popoff. Um, there was another... There was um oh yeah there was another thing here, let me find it here. <clears throat> I clicked on uh, this thing up here. This is a link, and it led me to this. Pastor Kearney Thomas P.O. Box blah 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 Baytown Texas. There's all there's another one of these uh, letters here, saying I'm going to solve all your problems and all that fun stuff. And um, let's see. Right now, I'm asking you to sow a seed. God sees your sacrifice, and it will be a sacrifice. God sees. Yeah, so he wants you to give more money than you really should be giving. It may be a $100, $50, or $20. I never clicked on that link, did I? Hmm. But step out in faith and give it to the work of Jesus Christ as a seed. Ask God for his best blessing to be bestowed upon you. Yeah, so give me the last little bit of money that you have, and God will give you something back. And then here's all this stuff, uh, these um, testimonials here. Read this exciting testimony that Sister Spencer has shared about the miracle of God gave her after I prayed. Yeah, 100% fabricated, all made up. Let's see, my miracle is that I sowed a seed of $100 when my barrel was empty. Well, it wasn't empty. It was probably empty afterwards, though. Kearney Thomas told me if I sow a seed, the Lord was going to bless me with $10,000. In the mail, I received an unexpected check for $10,000. And on top of that, the Lord blessed me with a better-paying job that I hadn't even applied for. Uh, no, he didn't. You don't get jobs without applying for them. Listen to the prophet. Obey his voice, obey his voice, and then you'll be blessed from the Lord. Believe in God. Now click here. See, these claims are so obviously um, false, and all of these are obviously made up. But uh, people who are desperate enough to believe, desperate for someone to save them from their problems, are just are going to fall for it, because they're desperate and this guy knows it. They're going to give him all the money they have, and they're going to be even poorer for it. So there we go. Kearney Thomas, um, the, the latest Peter Popoff that I've heard of. See you next time.